again, welcome. Welcome families, welcome students. We are so thrilled to have this huge turnout here to celebrate all of these eighth graders who are heading on to high school next year. My name is Kristen Grody, and I have had the pleasure of serving as your student's principal this school year. It was my first year at White Oak, and um, this was an incredible eighth grade class to have as the leaders of the building in my first year at White Oak. Before we get into the program, I want to start with a round of applause for our incredible White Oak stage band, led by Mr. John Boyce. He's in the back now. They're going to close out the show as well, but I wanted to make sure to thank them now. As we get started, we have a handful of esteemed guests who I would like to introduce. Uh, first up, we'd like to welcome Mr. Dustin Gary, the Director of Student Services for Northwest Local School District. <laughs> Mrs. Brenda Miller, Director of Curriculum, Northwest Local School District. Mr. Sean Ryan, this is the class of 2028 principal. He will be your principal next year. And last but certainly not least, I am proud to introduce you to Mrs. Erin Davis, the principal of Coleraine High School. Thank you to Ms. Davis and Mr. Ryan for helping us get this set up today, uh, for accommodating our switch from the auditorium to the gym. As you can tell, we would not have fit. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to be beginning our program with the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Alyssa Jones and Braylon Budke. Alyssa and Braylon, please come to the front. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job. To lead us in our opening remarks, I would like to call to the stage two of our eighth grade leaders, Malachi Smith and Manar Kasim. Class, we are excited to welcome you to our recognition. We have worked so hard to get to this point and we are thrilled to share this morning. We have achieved so much in our three years at White Oak and today is time to celebrate. We couldn't have made it this far without you, our parents and teachers. Thank you for being our role models, leaders, and supporters. You are the people who made all of this possible. We are grateful for your love and dedication. You are the most important forces in our lives. welcoming us today. We are now going to begin our program with our academic recognitions. Here is Mrs. Sarah Thompson, our White Oak Honor Society advisor. Thank you. White Oak Honor Society is an honor bestowed upon our students that exude the qualities of scholarship, leadership, service, character, and citizenship. In order to be considered as a part of the White Oak Honor Society, the students must have a cumulative grade point average of 3.75 or higher during seventh grade in the first three quarters of eighth grade. At this time, we would like to recognize the 2024 inductees. If you were officially inducted in the White Oak Honor Society in April, please stand and be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. 
At this time, we would like to recognize those students who have achieved excellence in their academics during this school year. The following students have a cumulative grade point average of 3.0 to 3.4 this year at White Oak. They are recognized with the distinction of second honors. Parents and guests, please hold your applause until all names have been read. Students, please stand when you hear your name called and remain standing until all names have been called. Destiny Ago, Ago, Ryder Burdett, Carter Davis, Shane Delaney, Jada Diawara, Eli Folk, Matthew Henson, Amaya Johnston, Valencia Gates, Alexander Kirkland, Stephen Lackey, John Lucan, Alyssa McCarty, Leah Meyer, Malia Nichols, Layla Oaks, Lisa Osage, Gracie Pegram, Marciano Phillips, Amber Romero Corpus, Rihanna Russell, Diana Sherman Walker, Charlie Schroer, Diara Chan, Chance Walton, Ella White, Arden Wilkerson, Roberto Williams, and Julius Williams. Congratulations. You may be seated. All righty. Congratulations to our students. Now we're going to the following students have a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 this year, 3.5 to 3.9 at White Oak. They are recognized with the distinction of first honors. Please stand when you hear your name and remain standing until all names are called. Parents and guests, please hold your applause until all names are read. Hayden Alvis, David Amdemichael, Patrick Andrews, Pronish Bastola, Brianna Beasley, Carson Breedlove, Jaden Bryant, Audrey Bumpus, Samantha Buskin, Zania Cobbins, Colton Kahn, Eli Dawson, Aiden Dufford, Devon Dukes, Logan Fleming, Aiden Fleming, Roman Gard, Simon Gehring, Justin Hayes, Luke Hurst, Owen Hogue, Darnell Houston, Marcus Ingram, Caden Inman, Haley Johnson, Anaya Jones, Kenzie Creed, Neil Lecker, Marquise Lindsay Johnson, Roman McGar, Nathan Mason, Kira Menetre, Eben Morrison Mills, Elika Needlinger, Xavier Peck, Aubrey Parr, Caden Park, Ryland Prather, Ann Kit Rye, Kingston Rowe, Donovan Roman, Blaine Schurz, Cash Selby, Sabnam Siwa, Malachi Smith, John Smith, Parker Soap Mercer, Evelyn Stein, Chloe Stitzel, Tyler Trishler, Taylor Twitty, Deani Waller, Mackenzie Witt, Christine Yunin, and Lillian Zirkle. Congratulations to all the students. Thank you, Mrs. Stokes and Mr. Brooks, two of our counselors at White Oak Middle School.
I now have the distinct pleasure of honoring our high honor students. These are students who have a cumulative grade point average of 4.0 in their eighth grade year here at White Oak. They are recognized with the distinction high honors. Please come to the front when you hear your name called. Parents and guests, please hold your applause until all names have been read and all students are at the front of the gym. Samantha Abel, Marissa Arents, Nathan Boeing, Bryson Bolte, Braylon Budke, Cole Cooper, Jamie Dorflein, Olivia Henschen, Aaron Jacobs, Zachary Jung, Zachary Kassam, Claire Novasel, Heat Patel, Olivia Pegram, Laurel Panetti, Haley Pruitt, Lillian Sarfo Benson, Brooke Schoenberger, Alea Walker. Can I get a huge round of applause for this group of students? Thank you students and congratulations. That is absolutely no easy feat. Of the exceptional students standing here in front of you, Nine of them not only earned a 4.0 this year, but earned a cumulative 4.0 in every single year that they were at White Oak Middle School. When your name is called, please step forward. Samantha Abel. Cole Cooper, Zachary Jung, Zachary Kassam, Claire Novasel, Keith Patel, Olivia Pegram, Lillian Sarfo Benson and Brooke Schoenberger. A huge round of applause for these, our Principal's Award winners. You all may be seated. Across the state of Ohio, state test scores were released in the last couple of weeks, so I had to do a last minute addition to our program. I would like to recognize all of our students who were in Algebra 1. If you were in Algebra 1, please stand. This group of students was 100% proficient on the state test with a record number a record number 90% of them scored accomplished or advanced the highest tiers that the state recognizes for academics on the state test They outperformed the entire state of Ohio and well outpaced the state's projections for them. Congratulations to this hardworking crew and to their two fantastic teachers, Mrs. Stacy Cook, uh, the White Oak T uh, Teacher of the Year, and Mrs. Sarah Thompson. You may be seated. 
I now introduce to you Mr. Javon King, the assistant principal at White Oak Middle School. All right. Good morning, ladies, gentlemen, esteemed teachers, wonderful students, as I like to call you, good people. It is my honor to present one of the most important awards that we will give today, the Attendance Award. So being present every day, being prepared, it's no small feat. It takes a lot of dedication, resilience, and effort to show up on those sick days, days when it's rainy outside. So we wanna honor the students who showed up the most and who gave their best effort every day. So as I call your name, please come up to the front. First, we have Miss Marissa Ahrens. Mr. Cole Avery. Heat Patel. We also have another addition to this. This is the perfect, perfect attendance. Student was never late, never tardy, always right there on time, ready to do their best. So, Aiden Fleming, please come up. Xavier Pack. And Brooke Schumenberger. Logan? This is and Logan Fleming. So let's give these students a huge round of applause for their great attendance. Next, I would like to give an honor to all of our students who participated in extracurricular activities throughout this school year. Being involved in clubs offers students the opportunity to explore interests on the classroom and to continue to develop skills and build meaningful relationships in all of these fields. Uh, I will now recognize the various sports and clubs that we offer at White Oak. So if I call your club students, please stand and remain standing to the end. If you are involved in student council, please stand. If you were involved in drama club, please stand. If you were involved in math counts, please stand. If you were involved in band. If you were involved in chorus, please stand. If you were involved in orchestra, please stand. If you were involved in Science Club, please stand. If you were involved in Future Educators of America, please stand. All right, let's give it up for all of our students. Uh, please be seated. Next, I will turn the mic back over to Ms. Grove. Is Mr. Ken Merchant here? I know he was stuck in traffic. Come on down, sir. I was about to wing it. Welcome, Mr. Merchant. Mr. Merchant is the advisor of the Business Professionals of America, and they will be recognized separately because they are award-winning. Uh, good morning, parents and students. Uh, my name is Mr. Merchant. If you don't know me here, I teach uh, technology electives along with coaching basketball and then running uh, BPA here, which is what I'm here to talk about today. Business Professionals of America, or BPA, is a career-based extracurricular organization where students compete in a variety of business-related activities. Some of these events include things like formatting a Word document to specific standards, giving a speech on a given topic, creating an advertising video, designing a website, and many more. I would like to take this moment to recognize a few outstanding BPA members who just two weekends ago traveled to Chicago to compete at the national level for the respective event. 
Just qualifying for the national competition is quite an accomplishment as they must first go through regionals where they compete against Coleraine and Pleasant Run Middle students. Then they go to the state rounds where they compete against middle schools around the state. And then finally, if they qualify at state, they make it to nationals. This year, I had eight eighth grade students qualify for nationals. Can the following six students rise and then stay, stay, rise, stay risen until we finish our round of applause? First, we had a team event. It's a visual design team, and that's Rylan Prather, Olivia Henshin, Amber Romero Corpus, and Haley Pruitt. And then we also had two individual events for digital citizenship, and that's Bryson Bolte and Zach Jones. Can we please give people a round of applause? You guys can be seated. The next two students did more than just qualify to compete at nationals. Uh, these two actually finished top 10 in the nation in their respective event, which is a huge accomplishment. They have to beat out hundreds of people along the way, along with the best competitors at nationals. Can the following two students please rise? These two girls competed together in website design team, and that's Alyssa McCarty and Jaden Diawara. Um, this year, this was an amazing group to work with. Um, it was really an honor to serve as your guys' BPA advisor. You guys are a great group. I look forward to hearing about your guys' success in high school and beyond. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is David Roy, I'm the athletic director and one of the deans at White Oak Middle School, and I'm here to talk about sports. All right, so we all come every day, we've got important work to do, reading, writing, solving problems, but school is an experience that goes far beyond that. Um, and this year we have a large number of students who decided to develop the skills they already have athletically, to try something new or learn something different, and to represent themselves and White Oak in our community and beyond. So when I call your sport, please go ahead and stand. So if you are one of our cheerleaders this year, please stand. If you participated in our golf team, please stand. If you are one of our cross-country runners, please stand at this time. Let's have our volleyball player stand. Let's have our gentlemen in football, please rise. And our wrestlers, you're up next. Let's have our basketball players rise at this time. And our track and field participants as well. So all of you, thank you for your contributions, and we look forward to seeing the great things you do in the future. Go ahead and sit. So in addition to recognizing our athletes at large, there are a couple of students we would really like to, re uh, to recognize as having participated in three sports this year. It's a lot, it's a large commitment to take on. Classes, other extracurricular activities, three sports during the year, maintaining eligibility. So thank you for your contributions, your hard work. Carter Davis, who's right. Muriel Freeman. Aaron Jacobs. Marquise Lindsey Johnson. John Smith. And Aiden Stubblefield. All right. This is the one with a lot of words. 
So as part of an ongoing program to promote sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity, the Ohio High School Athletic Association is continuing the program to recognize students who display exemplary sportsmanship. The award is named for Archie Griffin. Mr. Griffin is an Ohio native, the only two-time recipient of the Heisman Trophy for football, and as a professional athlete, he always displayed exemplary sportsmanship. This award is presented each year to a male and female student who have been outstanding in their efforts to promote sportsmanship in their school and community. I'd like to say before we announce our winners today that our coaching staff nominated a lot of people for this award. It was truly difficult to choose, and I gotta say as a first time athletic director, I have been impressed by all of our students in so many ways and how we've played and represented ourselves inside and out of White Oak. For both of this year's winners, it was noted by their coaches who worked with them that both students were dedicated to the sports that they played. They wanted to win, they worked hard to do so, but more importantly, they really focused on their improvements and achievement as athletes. When they arrived at practice or to compete, they always brought their positive attitudes with them. These are the sorts of student athletes who view with obstacles as challenges and never as failures. This year, they've proudly represented themselves, their team, White Oak Middle School, their parents, and beyond, and we are proud to claim them as part of our school's legacy. So, the female recipient of this year's Archie Griffin Award is Janet Iowara. And the male recipient of this year's Archie Griffin Award is Chance Walton. Do you like a photo thing where it's everyone in the crew? All right, let's get a big round of applause for the both of you. Thank you, Mr. Roy, and congratulations to all of our student athletes and those involved with student activities. At this time, we are going to recognize students for Teacher Nominated Excellence Awards. Each teacher had the opportunity to nominate one student for showing exemplary scholarship and one student for being an overall outstanding contributor to the classroom. Electives will be recognized first, and then each team will be recognized separately. Students' names will be read to come forward, and then the awards they are receiving will be specified by the team. At this time, I ask that applause be held until the recipients of all the awards have been announced for each section. And all of the students will be receiving their awards at the end in a manila envelope, so you will have plenty of opportunities for photo ops where they are holding their individual awards and perhaps standing in front of our lovely backdrop. Right now, I would like to um, introduce Mr. Boyce, and I would like to call up to uh, the front the following students. Evelyn Stein, Matthew Henson, Aiden Dufford, Xavier Pack, Arden Wilkerson, Stephen Lackey, Butchaw Fry, Neil Letcher, Justin Hayes, Logan Fleming, Damian Romero Carrillo, Neil Letcher, Amaya Johnston, Claire Novosel, Roman Gar, Brooke Schoenberger, and John Smith. Good morning, I'm Mr. Boyce, I'm the band teacher, I'm the electives chair. I'm going to be reading the uh, electives awards. First up for the band awards, the band scholarship award goes to Evelyn Stein. Please step forward. Step forward. There you go. Yeah, please step forward when I call your name. 
for uh, band for outstanding award is Matthew Henson. In chorus, the scholarship award goes to Aiden Duffer. The outstanding student for chorus is Xavier Peck. For the applied reading class, the scholarship award goes to Arden Wilkerson. And for applied reading, the outstanding student is Stephen Lackey. For our ESL students, their outstanding student award goes to Utsav Rai. For Spanish, Spanish class, the scholarship award is for Neil Ledger. And the outstanding student in Spanish is Justin Hayes. For applied math class, the scholarship award goes to Logan Fleming. And for applied math, the outstanding student is Damian Romero Carrillo. In digital arts, the scholarship award goes to Neil Letcher as well. And the outstanding student for digital arts is Amaya Johnston. For app creators, Scholarship Award goes to Claire Novosel. And the Outstanding Award for App Creators is Roman Gar. For our Art Awards, I invite Ms. Finn Stagg to come and talk to Mike. Good morning. Sorry. I um, before I give my two award winners here, I want to remind all of you first semester art students that your artwork is right outside 218. Parents, please encourage them to pick up their artwork. Um, even though we've donated a lot to teachers to decorate their rooms next year. This is the last time I'll be doing this after 33 years. So, and I think if we... <laughs> Kids have been asking me all year, well, how long have you been there? And can I just, by either standing or raising hands, how many of you have come through the White Oak Art Department? Parents, aunties, uncles, cousins? Yeah, I think it's time. <laughs> I think it's time. Um, it's been the privilege of a lifetime. My outstanding art student for eighth grade is John Smith. And since they are going to let me say a few things since it's my last time doing this, by far he is the epitome of a most improved art student. It's awesome for any teacher to have a great young man like John. He is kind, he is a gentleman in the chaotic world of middle school. John was in art in the sixth grade and did very well for that age, even though John did not have seventh grade art. It didn't matter because his still skills continue to improve with every new lesson and assignment this year. He takes tremendous pride in his work and he never gave up on anything. It has been a pleasure to teach John and I hope he continues to find creative artistic outlets while on his journey of becoming an outstanding athlete that I look forward to watching every Saturday and Sunday afternoon. The eighth grade honor artist of the year is Brooke Schoenberger. Brooke has been in art for three years at White Oak and is easily the most exceptional, naturally gifted artist I've taught in 30 years. Her artwork is brilliantly done, thoughtful, and always something special. Her skills have been at a high school level for some time now, and I know there are only great things ahead of her. She is a skilled traditional artist and also started her own digital portfolio. Brooke is also one of the most humble students I have ever had. I wish all of you could see the incredible work she creates, and I know that there'll be pictures of all these kids 
work on the Facebook page in the coming weeks. I look forward to the day that I see your artwork in a children's book, an anime show, in a gallery exhibit, or an advertising billboard in Times Square. It has been my honor to have been her teacher, and a teacher at White Oak Middle School for 30 years. I now introduce to you Mrs. Schweitzer to present Team Perspectives Awards. Please come to the front. Lillian Zirkel, Riley Rhodes, Logan Fleming, Sorley Cousy, Carson Breedlove, Aiden Fleming, Anaya Jones, and Christine Yunin. I'm gonna have you step to the left here. Good morning. The LA Scholarship Award goes to Lillian Zirkel. Please step forward. The LA Outstanding Award goes to Riley Rhodes. Social Studies Scholarship goes to Le Logan Fleming. and Social Studies Outstanding to Sirlay Kusi. <laughs> Math Scholarship goes to Carson Breedlove. <laughs> Math Outstanding goes to Aiden Fleming. <laughs> Science Scholarship goes to Anaya Jones. And Science Outstanding to Christine Yunin. Please welcome Mrs. Enderley. Yes. You can call them all up if you want me to. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Team Perspective. You may be seated. Can the following students please come to the front? Olivia Pegram. Zachary Kassam, Sam Abel, Lillian Sarfo Benson, Brooke Schoenberger, Heat Patel, Aaron Jacobs, Jada Diawara, Bryson Bolte, and Cole Cooper. Here is Mrs. Enderly to present Team Unity's Awards. Hi, I'm Dana Enderly. I teach language arts on Team Unity, and I have the honor of recognizing these wonderful kids. The LA Scholarship Award goes to Olivia Pegram. The LA Outstanding Student Award goes to Zach Kassam. The Social Studies Scholarship Award goes to Sam Abel. The Social Studies Outstanding Award goes to Lillian Sarfo Benson. The Algebra Scholarship Award goes to Brooke Schoenberger. The Algebra Outstanding Award goes to Heat Patel. The Pre-Algebra Scholarship Award goes to Aaron Jacobs. Pre-Algebra Outstanding Award goes to Jada Girara. The Science Scholarship Award goes to Bryson Bolte. The Science Outstanding Award goes to Cole Cooper. Let's give these guys a round of applause. And now I have the honor of introducing Mrs. Bertram with Team Wisdom's Academic Awards. Please come to the front. Jamie Dorflang, Olivia Henschen, Nathan Boeing, Amaya Johnston, 
Claire Novosel, Zach Jung, Alea Walker, Zania Cobbins, Haley Pruitt, and Kenzie Creed. Good morning, it's an honor to represent Team Wisdom. The Language Arts Scholarship Award goes to Jamie Dorfline. The Language Arts Outstanding Student Award goes to Olivia Henschen. The Social Studies Scholarship Award goes to Nathan Bowie. The Social Studies Outstanding Award goes to Amaya Johnston. The Algebra Scholarship Award goes to Claire Novosel. The Algebra Outstanding Student Award goes to Zach Jung. Our Pre-Algebra Scholarship Award goes to Alea Walker. Our Pre-Algebra Outstanding Student Award goes to Zania Cobbins. Our Science Scholarship Award goes to Haley Pruitt. And our Science Outstanding Student is Kenzie Krieg. Great job, Team Wisdom, all around. I would like to now introduce Mr. Niall Brooks, who will be giving the eighth grade student address. You guys can sit down. All righty. Whew, public speaking ain't my thing, child, so bear with me. All right. Good morning, teachers, families, and graduate, er, graduating eighth graders. It is my pleasure to be standing in front of you all today to recognize and pay tribute to everything you all have accomplished, not only just this year, but all of middle school. It's hard to believe that you started middle school nearly three years ago. It seems like yesterday, right? <laughs> Clueless, innocent sixth graders wearing COVID-19 masks. Can you imagine? Now we are seated side by side as we come as one to celebrate our accomplishments as we make our way to high school. Experience within these last three years really shows us what all we went through, how much it changed, how much our lives changed in a matter of seconds, days, and years, and most importantly, how resilient all of you are. As most of you know, this is my first year as a school counselor, and it has been a dream come true to support you all. Whew, through the sunny days and through the not so sunny days. High school is the next level of your life and the perfect opportunity for a fresh start. A time for goal setting, celebration, friendship, and most importantly, leveling up. As much as I hope you all learned something from me, I've learned a little something from y'all. And in the spirit of leveling up, let's go over some middle school lingo that I've learned from y'all. <clears throat> in middle school, we use the term standing on business which we all know what that means. Going into high school, let's level up the term standing on business um, and make the term standing on business mean taking care of responsibilities, practicing what you preach, and handling business in academics, athletics, and other goals that will aid your per professional and personal growth. Another term we use in middle school, and I just started hearing this this year, child, is on my soul. And we know what that means and how it's used, okay? In high school, let's level up to soul searching. Taking time to take care of your heart, your soul, and seeking resources to become the most mentally, emotionally, and physically healthy human possible. A wise person once said, if you cannot love yourself, you cannot love anybody else. The next one is one of my favorites. Then in middle school, we use the term big back. <laughs> In high school, instead of focusing on how big each other's backs are, let's level up to big bucks. Cash or dollars, if you will. Woo! 
many of you, many of you will have your first job going into high school or in high school. Let's focus on investing in ourselves, setting ourselves up for the future, and when we worry less about others and what they think and focus on ourselves, it will take us a long way. So like I said, high school is the perfect opportunity to level up, to figure out your strengths and interests and set yourself up for a future of success for those who use their time wisely. While it may and should be a challenge, there are so many more things to look forward to in high school. Pep rallies, football games, homecoming, prom and spirit weeks. One of my favorite memories is marching band. I was the leader of the drum line. Every Friday before football games, the drum line marched through the hallways, exuding pride within our school and hype for the football game. It was a happy time where the school was a community, and in my high school career, I was in marching band that took me all over the country, including the 2016 Rose Parade located in Pasadena, California. I was also a very mid-track star, co-captain of my paintball club, and a part-time baseball player. Part-time second base and part-time on the bench. <laughs> Regardless of any part-time shifts, my heart was full because I made the most of my experience. And you should too. Have fun and try new things. All of these monumental moments go by really fast, so always remember to enjoy it. Stay positive and never take anything for granted. However, you can't be grateful for just the big moments, but also grateful for the people that surround you every day. They say it takes a village to raise a child, so I want to take time to recognize our village. Look around at your teachers and staff members, your school family. A teacher is more than an educator. A teacher plays all roles, including a counselor, a mentor, a nurse, security, confidant, and at times our worst enemy and the best friend. A teacher can be the guiding force in our lives and even after we pass through the portals of our school and step into the world that lies ahead to be conquered. Be sure to always thank your teachers. In a little inside tea, build relationships with your teachers in high school. In high school, your teachers do more than grade papers. They write college recommendation letters, nominate students for scholarships, and suggest valuable opportunities for high performers. Look around at your family, friends, and loved ones. That is your support system. All of y'all deserve medals. <laughs> um, middle school is a beast, but having loved ones in your corner to cheer you on during victories and nurse your rooms during defeats has and will remain to keep you all sane and focused. Remember to always love them and thank them as one day roles will be reversed and they will be thanking you. Most importantly, thank yourself and always remember that, oof. Sorry. <laughs> and always remember you are more than enough. You are enough during the good days when you pass a heart test, when your hair looks good, when you win an award, or even when you win the carrot food fight in the cafeteria. <laughs> you are enough on the bad days. <laughs> <laughs> you are enough on the bad days when maybe you don't do so well on a test, when you're going through hardships and need a shoulder to cry on, or even when your edges aren't laid down and your hair isn't cut, you are enough. You don't have to prove your worthiness to anyone. <clears throat> Whew, you are all kind, supportive, fun, big brain teenagers that are ready to set an example for the people below you. You are the future of our community. <clears throat> I'm on the last paragraph, so bear with me, y'all. <laughs> with that being said, I am no doubt extremely grateful for the memories we've made together this year, for the upcoming four years of high school, and really for the rest of our lives. I, sub I, I encourage you all to prioritize and put forth your best effort in your meaningful and genuine relationships. Never lose focus on who you are and those who are important to you. It has been an honor to be a part of a such strong, passionate, loving community, and once again, congratulations. I, along with the rest of your teachers and staff, have the utmost gratitude for you all and wish you all the best of luck in your days ahead. You will always have a home at White Oak Middle School.
explain to you uh, the Warrior Creed. In 2014, Brendan Kolbinski, a former White Oak student, wrote a poem that is called our Warrior Creed. Since that time, we have read this poem as part of our annual eighth grade recognition ceremony. We have some eighth grade volunteers who would like to share this with you in a collective reading. I need the following students to please come up and take your places for the Warrior Creed. Darnell Houston, Alaka Neidlinger, Trustin Robinson, Gigi Wright, Michaela Bess, Destiny Aiko, Simon Gary, and Diani Waller. Want the best for yourself. Warriors want the best for themselves. They show up by giving 100% of everything they do. Academics. Academics are a key role in being a warrior. Warriors are never satisfied with mediocrity and academics. Ready for everything. Why do students embrace everything with a positive attitude and adapt to the best of their ability? Respect. Warriors are respectful to everyone in the building, teachers, administrators, and other staff, parents, their peers, and themselves. Involvement. Being involved by being in clubs, sports, and other extracurriculars means higher grades, better behavior, and higher standards. Warriors are always kind to others. Everyone goes through struggles, and a little kindness will go a long way. Responsibility. A warrior always does what they are expected to do, whether it's a homework assignment, a project, or playing your role in a club or sport. Warriors always come through. Spirit. No matter what, a warrior is never afraid to show up their school spirit. We have pride in our school. Being a warrior is a privilege and one that you should be proud to have. Everything the Warrior Pride Award encompasses. Claire Novosel. <laughs> Marissa Arents. Marissa is an all around exceptional student with strong character and incredible drive. She's active and dedicated to White Oak. <laughs> Justin Hayes. I can't think of anyone that doesn't like Justin. 
He is kind to all and works very hard academically. He is an overall great human being. And Neil Letcher. Neil is a bright spark in all of our classes. He works hard, is always reasonable, and gets along with everyone. He is a fantastic human. Congratulations to our Warrior Pride winners. You may have a seat. Now, Mrs. Thompson will present the eighth grade class. Please keep your applause to a minimum when your student's name is called in order to ensure that all names are heard. Mrs. Thompson? We will begin with Team Perspective, taught by Mrs. Blair, Mr. Riggs, and Mrs. Schweitzer. Peyton Ballard. Alex Bell. Jamari Bradley. Carson Breedlove, Jashawn Carter, Nicholas Connors, Malaya Crockett, Shima Darji, Aiden Doan, Cole Ertle, Aiden Fleming, Logan Fleming, Jason Gettinger, Donovan Helton, Bailey Holbrook, Michael Holland, John Jackson, Mayer Jackson, Elizabeth Johnson. This one is Uriel Freeman. Uriel Freeman. I even wrote it down. Anaya Jones, Kamari Kelly, Alia Kithmeyer, Sirle Kuzi, Stephen Lackey, Sebastian Mora, Jayon Myers Williams, Sebastian Miles, Evan Morrison Mills. Skyla Nibri, Larissa Nelson, Layla Oaks, Riley Rhodes, Aiden Stubblefield, Kaylee Surency, Jade Turney, Brianna Watson, Ryan Watson, Travion Willis, Brayden Winkle, Timothy Wright, Christine Yunin, Lillian Zirkel. A round of applause for Team Perspective. Next is Team Unity, taught by Mrs. Enderly, Mrs. Fitzgerald, Mrs. Cook, Mr. Vatter, and Mrs. White. Samantha Abel, Franklin Augusta Jimenez, Hayden Alvis, David Omdemichael, Marissa Ahrens, Cole Avery, 
Pranish Bastola, Brianna Beasley, Michaela Bess, Bryson Bolte, Jamarcus Brooks, Jaden Bryant, Braylon Budke, Dakota Burden, Demaya Burnham, Colton Kahn, Cole Cooper, De'Aaron Cordell, Mason Davenport, Jada Jawara, Eli Dobson, Eli Falk, Olivia Fluker, Roman Gar, Simon Gehring, Tyon Gibbons, Joshua Hall, Deja Harris, Jade Harris, Peyton Hayes, Emma Heidecker, Matthew Henson, Keontae Hicks, Janeer Henson. Luke Horst, Rayshawn Hogan, Armani Heidelberg, Caden Inman, Aaron Jacobs, Alyssa Jones, Zachary Kassam, Alexander Kirkland, Elijah Lawrence, Layla Lee, Neil Lecker, Marquise Lindsay Johnson, John Lucan, Bryson Mason. Nathan Mason, Melchizedek Matthews, Brandy McDaniel, Brooke Moore, Malia Nichols, Lisa Osage, Aubrey Parr, Denija Parrish, Pete Patel, Gracie Pegram, Olivia Pegram, Lucas Perillo, Marciano Phillips, Carrie Pickens. B.J. Rye, Jaden Robinson, Tristan Robinson, Kingston Rowe, Alexander Roth, Amber Romero Corpus, Javon Rucker, 
Donovan Woolman. Ko Ray Runya. Lillian Sarfo Benson. Lane Schurz. Brooke Schoenberger. Dayana Sherman Walker. Sabnam Siwa. Randy Souders. Zephaniah Staples, Evelyn Stein, Chloe Stitzel, Siddharth Suba, Asish Tamal, Diara Chong, Tyler Trisler, Diani Waller, May Wilbanks, Julius Williams, Mackenzie Witt, Team Unity, Our last team today is Team Wisdom, taught by Mrs. Bertram, Mr. Lindley, Ms. Munson, Mr. Oldham, and Mrs. Thompson. <laughs> Destiny Aco. Laniel Alexander, Patrick Andrews, Amari Anthony, Joshua Apple, Eva Benton, Nathan Boeing, Leah Bradshaw, Kiesha Brantley, Kamora Brown, Audrey Bumpus, Ryder Burdett, Samantha Buskin, Brooklyn Carter, Zaniah Cobbins, Shane Delaney, Jamie Dorfline. Aiden Dufford, Devon Dukes, Jaden Fitzpatrick, Ravon Gaffney, Antonio Garcia, Giovanni Garcia, Robert Harris, Justin Hayes, Olivia Henshin, Jordan Hernandez, Jaden Heinzman, Owen Hope, Daniel Hogeback, Micaiah Holmes, Darnell Houston, Tamari Hudson, Nikolai Engel, Marcus Ingram, Patience Enman, Jonathan Jackson, Kaylee Johnson, Amaya Johnston, Zachary Jung, Valencia Cates, Elijah King, Kenzie Creek, Yasir Langford, Ariana Lee, 
Daryl Lewis. Roman Magar. Alyssa McCarty. Kira Minitre. Leah Meyer. Andrew Mikes. Braden Nagley. Elika Neilinger. Claire Novosel. Amir Orr. Xavier Pack. Caden Paul. Laurel Panetti. Edvin Perez Mendez. Rylan Prather. Haley Pruitt. Menar Kasim. Ankit Rai. Utsav Rai. Adrian Broughton. Joseph Robinson. Trustin Robinson. Damian Romero Carrillo. Leana Rosser. Brianna Russell. Cash Selby. Charlie Schroyer. Rhea Siwa. Kylie Smith. John Smith. Malachi Smith. Parker Soap Mercer. Ben Stewart. Adrian Turner. Taylor Twitty. Davy Urias Humana. Alea Walker. Chance Walton. Amarian Weathers. Austin West. Ella White. Kiana Wilcher. Arden Wilkerson. Roberto Williams. Solomon Williams. Chevy Williamson. Jeremiah Wilson. Giovanna Wright. And that's Team Wisdom. Raising these 
humans. As Mr. Brooks said, middle school is not easy. You have helped them make it through one of the hardest times in their lives. Only four more years until they're ready to hout out into the world as adults. Savor these high school years, they will go quickly. And students, you should know your families are very proud of you today. Take a look at them in the audience. Take a look at your family. If they're not here, you can look at me because I'm your family now too. Let's cheer for your families now. Thank you. I would now like all of our teachers and staff to stand. individuals for the many hours that you have poured into these students this year. You are an incredibly committed and dedicated crew and I have been grateful to do this work alongside each of you this year. A round of applause for your teachers and the White Oak staff. You may be seated. I said it before, but this will be the last time that I'll be able to tell you. Students, it has been my honor and privilege. I have been proud to serve as your principal this year. While we only had one year together, I want to thank you for bringing joy, for sharing your lives and your gifts with me, and for usually listening to me in the lunchroom. Today, you leave the comfort of being warriors and begin your journey as cardinals. I cannot wait to follow the Coleraine class of 2028. I know you will accomplish great things. One final note before we close with the, the stage band playing our Coleraine fight song. Parents, guardians, if you are gonna be taking your student home with you today, Make sure you see Miss Willett at the front table to sign them out if you have not already sent in a note. We will now close our ceremony with the White Oak Stage Band playing the Coleraine High School fight song. Thank you for coming today. Remember, once a warrior, 